Hello, YouTube. Guess what? I'm in a really good mood today. You know why? Because I've decided that today's going to be the best day ever. And why shouldn't it be? Any day I get to play obscure SpongeBob Flash games from my childhood is a good one. Also, Grace is here being silly, so what better way to put someone in a good mood? And most of all, I love spending time on YouTube, where everyone is super kind and supportive of the stuff I make. Let's start the day by checking my notifications and seeing what new comments I have. Like this one. Let's see. I'm amazed someone this stupid can make YouTube Ah. I really have to stop reading comments as soon as I wake up. It's such a 50-50 risk for one note I'm gonna start the day on. At least Grace is here. Playing with a golden doodle can brighten anyone's day. Hey Grace, wanna- Ah. Well, at least we can still work on the video. Let's get this booted up, and then we can- Hey, what's this? An error? <laughs> you know, I really hate the anti-Lucy club sometimes. <laughs> Be back in a moment. Okay, we fixed the computer, but all the video work's been lost. Guess I'll have to record something else. This day isn't going nearly as well as I had planned. I know it's still early, but as we all know, the entire day is determined by the first few hours of it. So let's cover a simple game and save that bigger project for a later time. Now while my plans have been royally ruined, I can still enjoy the day by playing a fun Spongebob Flash game. To keep myself in a good mood, let's play one based on an episode that's all about positivity. And has special meaning to me, if you can believe that. This is the best day ever. That's the title, not just me declaring that. This was based on an episode that first aired in November of 2006, but it goes a little deeper than that. A song called The Best Day Ever was first heard in the credits of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. I used to love the song so much that I'd sit through the credits just to hear it. I even got the movie soundtrack and used to play it all the time. I also used to think I was quite the comedian whenever I'd sing it and change the lyrics to Worst Day Ever. The song went on to become a staple in the franchise, and almost every fan of SpongeBob knows it. It was even featured in the SpongeBob musical. And for a nostalgic fact, some of the lyrics were rewritten by Jonathan Colton. For those of you who don't know, there was a period where his music dominated the internet. You could easily find World of Warcraft music videos for a ton of his songs. Nowadays, most people know him for writing the ending songs to the Portal games. Honestly, could he be a bigger legend? Not to mention, Tom Kenny wrote the song, along with Andy Paley. And Steven Hillenburg played the ukulele in it. The song has such a compelling history. It's even affected me as an adult. For a while, whenever I'd be having an especially bad day, I'd sing the song to myself to lighten the mood. Stupid as it sounds, you'd be surprised at how much it helped. I should start doing it again. Might fix me. But the episode based around it came out as part of Season 4 and had a marathon surrounding it. It was said to be the biggest Spongebob event at the time. Fans were encouraged to vote for their favorite episode online. The top 100 then played out in... mostly the order they were ranked. But then the episode itself would air. It involved Spongebob trying to have a pretty good day, but nothing would go his way. However, he spent the day helping everyone else at his own expense. This would culminate in him breaking down at the end, but realizing that he helped the others and that was what mattered most. Then they have a big musical number. I should start ending my YouTube videos with those. But actually, I missed the episode when it first aired. I know, that's another one to add to my list. But I had a weird schedule. Things haven't really changed on that front, have they? But what I'd like to focus on is the game that was made to promote this. The day before the episode came out, Sarbakken released the best day ever on Nick.com. The game was a smashing success, garnering 1.3 million plays within three days of its release. I tend to like Sarbakken games, and they were releasing a ton of really good ones at the time, so I'm sure it'll be fantastic. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So in the story, Spongebob is in charge of setting up for what the instructions call the greatest show underwater. He only has a certain amount of funds to set up for the big event, but if his boxes aren't put in the right place, he loses the funds. As an actor, I can 100% confirm this is how theater works. But he enlists the help of Patrick to place the boxes for him. You know, Spongebob, if the stakes are really riding on how accurately you place those boxes, I really wouldn't recommend asking Patrick to do it for you. So you move him through a set with the arrow keys while he carries a box. You have to guide him to certain places on a scaffolding as Spongebob. If Patrick drops the box, the location he needs to place it moves to somewhere else. This can be a little irritating if you're close to the goal and he ends up dropping it because he gets tired. To make sure he doesn't get too tired, you press M to do a cheer. 
here's the catch. There are obstacles. The worst one being Gary, who wakes up from a nap and leaves a slime trail that makes you drop the box. If you get stuck on this, it can be pretty nasty. Bubbles and banana peels can also appear and get in your way. Peels will make you drop the box, but bubbles will just block you. If that isn't enough, these pop-up minigames force you to hit a combination of keys to help a friend. Like in the episode. These will cover the screen, but Patrick will keep moving even when you can't see him. It's a real pain. But as you can see, I couldn't figure out how to navigate these obstacles. I got stuck on Gary's trail and couldn't get off of it. <laughs> it seemed like this would be the end for my run. I wondered if perhaps the game had glitched, or if I had just walked into an inescapable situation with this obstacle. But alas, when I tried again, I continued to suffer the same fate. I began to wonder if time had rendered this unplayable, the same fate that has befallen my beloved Invasion of the Lava King. Maybe I wouldn't be able to relive this childhood classic. Maybe this wouldn't be my best day ever. Maybe it was all for nothing. It's the best day ever. Ow! You know, I really have to stop getting that window smashed whenever I do a bit. Hey, what's this? Second page, what? That can't be right. The instructions don't have a second- Ah, yeah, they do. Whoops. What? Don't forget I got out of a trial by being deemed legally unintelligent. So you click on obstacles to make them go away, including Gary's slime trail. And you can even make him go back in his shell by clicking on him. You can even drag the mouse to pop the bubbles more satisfyingly than just clicking them. Now everyone take a second to ridicule this absolute moron. Thank you. Anyway, the game is so much easier with that in mind, but you still have to keep your fingers moving. You have to continually move Patrick while cheering him on with M, clicking to get rid of the obstacles, and doing the mini-games that appear. It's a lot to keep track of. You have to be careful not to give Patrick conflicting instructions either. He might get confused and drop the box. If you lose, you get a game over screen similar to the one from Trail of the Snail. But most of the stages aren't too different. Though some can really mess with you by doing things like not having ladders on certain sides, forcing you to walk the rest of the way and possibly face the wrath of Gary. But it's cool to see the different backdrops for each stage. Oh hey Squidward. It's also nice to see the boxes transform into set pieces whenever Patrick puts one down. There's a bit to appreciate here, but again, you really have to work those fingers. So while this isn't a bad game, I wouldn't call it perfect either. The pop-ups and obstacles can occur at highly inopportune times, which might not give you enough time to properly react. If bubbles appear in front of you right when Gary wakes up, that's just too bad. If a pop-up appears when you're walking too close to the edge or into an obstacle, that's also too bad. It seems like sometimes this game just comes down to chance. Another thing I don't really like is how the game goes on for so long without any significant changes in gameplay. More types of obstacles or variants in the stage design would have been appreciated. It's easy to get a little bored when you've done it for about 15 minutes and it doesn't seem to be changing. Eh, getting kinda bored. Uh... I also sometimes wonder if Patrick is programmed to go in the opposite direction of where he needs to whenever he goes up a ladder. It can really feel like that. Sometimes he even glitches when going up. Careful, Patrick. I don't know if that's safe to do when carrying something fragile. Or carrying anything, really. But yeah, the game is fine. I appreciate the creativity and how it implements the concept of helping your friends like from the episode. Now this isn't exactly what I personally would have made if I had to make a game based on Best Day Ever, but I understand if they didn't want to spoil the episode since this came out first. I could imagine one that's like a minigame compilation where you help each of your friends. Sort of like Where's Gary or Pest of the West Showdown. But this works too. So, what do we think? Was playing this game enough to make today the best day ever? Eh, not really. But you know what? That's okay. Playing a nostalgic Flash game doesn't have to be day-defining. As this episode taught us, the real reason to be happy is friendship. And while I'm not the type to have this thing called friends, I do have an incredible audience that I'm really happy to make videos for. 
even if I've been really busy lately and bad at uploading, but hopefully that can change now that my schedule's getting a little less chaotic. Still, it's great to be able to play these games and make these videos for those who enjoy watching them. Any day I get to do that is truly the best day ever. Now I think it's time I go out and spread some positivity. Thank you for joining me, I will see you in the next memory. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. He's come all the way from Bikini Bottom, so put your hands together for the amazing Squidward. Hey, hold on, I have something to say. <laughs> Sorry, but I've learned a very important lesson today, and I feel the need to share it with you all. It's about the importance of friendship and understanding what really matters. Get off the stage, loser! Actually, it's Lucy. But anyway, today started out kinda rough. I was gonna make a video, play with my dog, read some comments on YouTube. You know, a perfect day. But some comments were mean, and my dog ran away, but that- Oh, there you are, Grace. I didn't know this was the show you were going to see. And my computer exploded. So anyway, things didn't go as planned. But thanks to a Flash game based on a certain Spongebob episode, I learned that there's so much more to happiness than doing conventionally good things. In fact, I feel so good about myself, I think I feel a song coming on. No! He's kidding, right? Now if you'll all be so kind. Now wasn't that exciting? I hope you all enjoyed that. That was the worst thing to ever curse my non-existent ears. Zack, please, wake up! Speak to me! Thank you, thank you. I know, it was very good. Ugh, uh, fine! Hey, wait, what's happening? Who turned out the lights? Hey, what's that? Ah! Uh, another awful day. Why am I in a theater? Acting is the lowest form of entertainment. Right up there with flash games. I hate being here. I hate being watched by an audience. This might even be the worst day ever. What are you looking at, you stupid cephalopod? Huh? I'm out of here. Curse you for joining me. If I see you, you will become a memory. I want a refund. You know what? You can take this clarinet and- Mr. Sun came up and he smiled at me. Said it's gonna be a good one, just wait and see. Jumped out of bed. And I ran outside, feeling so extra ecstatisfied. It's the best day ever. It's the best day. Come on, why aren't any of you singing back up? You all know this song. You know, fun fact, I was actually almost in the Spongebob musical. Actually very close to it. I know, it's my biggest life regret. Definitely taking that one to the grave. By the way, shouldn't I be Dark Lucy?